Hello, I'm Joe Wren. Despite constant clashes with Governor Mike Pence over the last two years, State Superintendent Glenda Ritz says her decision to run for governor isn't personal. It's because of significant differences with Pence over how to move Indiana forward. Six million Hoosiers need to know that their state cares about their communities and their future. Our cities, counties, and taxpayers deserve a state government that will work with local government to revitalize communities from the ground up. Ritz Thursday officially became, became the third person who entered the Democratic primary. She says she made the decision pointing to efforts to strip power from the Department of Education. She also, also cited what she calls the disaster over the Religious Freedom Restoration Act. The Indiana University Board of Trustees has approved a two-year tuition freeze for undergraduates on its Bloomington campus. IU President Michael McRobbie proposed the idea in May. Purdue University and Ivy Tech Community College followed suit shortly after implementing their own freezes. The school says the move was made possible in part due to increased state appropriations. And Bloomington Area Birth Services has announced it will close its doors on June 30th and will attempt to restructure and reopen this fall. FAB, which opened in 1994, has been funded largely by an Indiana Department of Health grant, but the state is ending funding for that grant in September. In addition, expenses and the services the group offers have increased. The center staff has been laid off. Checking the weather forecast for tonight, mostly clear, lows down to 59 degrees. And in the five-day forecast tomorrow, Friday, a 50% chance of thunderstorms, 82 the high, 79 partly cloudy on Saturday, and then a 60% chance of thunderstorms on Sunday with highs in the mid-80s. More news online on our website at WTIUnews.org.